Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, December 3rd here, and this is a look at our futures as we go into the monthly labor report that will be um, released here in about 10 minutes as of uh, right now. And that could change this picture drastically, but something I want to point out here is we've used this 50 again. We've used the 50 before. You can look back in the, uh, the history here of the SPY. This is the future of the full index of the S&P index. And the 50 has been a very um, important line for us, whether we were trying to get through it back here and then finally did, or using it as support previously. So as of right now, it is acting as our support. Coming into yesterday, I saw a lot of chatter about how, well, watch, it's going to drop. The market's going to drop here. And this is when it's so important to erase what you think is going to happen and just follow what happens and stop trying to call a top or a bottom in any movement and just let it happen. Play it as you see it, not as you think it should be. We are coming up. We've come. We've hit the same area of resistance here, right um, at the 4600 level. <clears throat> A long tail here this morning, a lot of day left. And again, we do have that employment report. But as of right now, this looks a bit more bullish than bearish. And overall, if you come back and look at the longer term charts, right, we are at a period of indecision on the weekly chart, <clears throat> pushing away from the 20, hanging out at the 8. This is the 8 EMA here. So not a lot of decision there today. We'll decide how this candle looks right because we're at the end of the week if it pushes up our long this longer term trend is still very much intact for now so uh, one day it'll change and when that changes then so will our trading plan as of right now let's take a look at a few that came roaring back <clears throat> apple we had called that the uh that this was a topping candle there on um on wednesday right long upper wick downside close came back so i'm going to go ahead and remove this trend line now that we've violated it a few times and i'll go and pull another one yesterday we came in i mean it was looking pretty grim right apple said you know what not so fast the news that came out definitely a knee-jerk reaction and not one that was very well substantiated about their suppliers and supply chain um so i think a lot of uh Hmm. Maybe it's bad news built in there, but however, <clears throat> it was uh, bought right back up, right? And we're pushing um, pushing up. We're hanging out at the three, and this morning we are actually a bit green as we go into the session as well. It is sitting at just shy of 164, so there is a little bit of a gap play available in here. I like this for a, um, a day trade if and a swing if we close high on the candle. And in Apple, I would be looking at the 165s there in January. All of these will be for January. AMD, another nice reversal yesterday. So we had this. It pushed lower than the previous day, moved on up, and now we're looking for the continued recovery in AMD. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm really, uh, I don't know, I've got something in my throat. Uh, 155s are the ones I would look at here and hold the 20. would definitely be a nice little line in the sand. NVIDIA looking the same here, took a nice few day break, hit the 20, pushed up. So another reversal where we came in, pushed lower. The, uh, an ideal reversal play would have been coming up through the red candle. And now we're looking for a recovery, anything over yesterday's close. That would fit for AMD. Um, Marvel, XLNX, um, ON, all of these chips looking pretty decent. All right, moving on here. I know. HMT, Honda. Roblox did me no favors and ended up closing that out um, uh, the other day. And look at it, it just really came back in. But now we have this nice little inside candle in Roblox. And I'll be looking to play off of that. So the inside candle play is if it moves above the previous, the, the high from that inside candle, that's a long. If it goes to the downside, it would be short. If you're going to the long side, I would look to the one. Winties on that one. I saw that a few of you entered CRM yesterday. Salesforce, I like this. Uh, probably would have been right there with you just um, off of this 200. It had earnings. And although not so bad, you know, how you read the guidance going forward and how it was perceived. 
Well, anyway, um, and typically the fourth quarter is a good quarter for CRM uh, historically. So we'll just uh, continue on with that, <clears throat> uh, watching for that. And now, you know, they just had their earnings, so we have, you know, a few months here until they pay, play out. But typically that fourth quarter is pretty good. But again, an inside candle, another uh, another one to play off of that inside look. If it continues to the upside, there's a nice gap up here as well. Lots of room in there. I like CRM at the 260 mark. If it goes to the downside, I'd watch that 200. Um, may catch that 200 again if you play to the downside. Snow. Snow, another one, right? Got smacked with earnings. Pretty good, but came back in. And look at this beautiful reversal. There was a lot of chatter across a lot of the rooms. And analysts rating and people talking about it. It was on CNBC when I was in the car yesterday. I could hear it. Um, uh, so nice look here. It's pretty steep, but look at this. Like the, you know what? I can make that look not so bad. There we go. Eh, doesn't look as crazy now, right? So looking for a move above this trend line. We do have the 20 and the 8 here. So see if we pause there, but a push above and a close above the 20. It's very nice look there in snow. I like the 350. Eyes. All right, taking a complete step outside of anything tech, taking a look at Nike here. I like the look of Nike over the 20. It's had a few days consolidation hanging out in here. It does have earnings coming up, so it would be a shorter play. Uh, looking for that catalyst into earnings, I like the 170s. BLDR. So this one, the it, um, I would want to see more volume come into the earnings on this one. In particular the beautiful move here we hit we put in a high that was just barely above this previous high so we have this nice little bowl looking for a breakout play in BLDR and I like the 75s in that one progressive insurance here like the look in progressive um, only if we can get above this 96 maybe just night call at 97 it's a fib line you can see this has been a, pr a previous tough area to get through. We keep hitting it, keep hitting it, keep hitting it. But I do see a potential inverse head and shoulders here. So we'll watch for the break of this um, this 97 area. And in PGR, the only ones that are exciting are the 100s right now. So keep an eye on it. See if we build some more into um, shorter term ones. Maybe go ahead with the 90, 95s. Um, versus the 100s, but we'll keep an eye on this one. I really like the look. Um, it just technically, I think it looks like a really good chart to play. And equity, of course, is always a good thing. Um, CNC, another one that put in a nice reversal up off of the 50 yesterday, hanging out at the 34, looking at this for a continued recovery. CNC, the 7250s. And then, of course, we can we cannot um, not talk about the vaccine names um watch for moderna it put in a long leg doji so we're looking for a reversal back up above the 50 in moderna i like the 320s and bntx we'll be getting some new guidelines out here regarding um the the new variant and um what they intend to do so we're watching for those guidelines to potentially come out today we'll see if they get out during the day today but i know they are working on those guidelines looking for a move above yesterday's uh close and it will be the 350s all right that is it for me this morning that um jobs report is imminent so keep an eye on that if it is really good and we bump up a lot play opening range breaks or inside candles, moving average crossovers, don't chase. And remember that hour mark inside around 1030 Eastern definitely can be a, um, a, a, a set the tone for the day. If we if we uh, start selling off at that point, just be very cautious. Watch that time frame. All right. I will see you soon. Have a great day.